Folks, I wanna talk about fishing for value with pullbacks. Let's do it. Over the past few months, I've been receiving hundreds, probably several hundred emails from investors who are looking for value. The truth of the matter is, with the pandemic sell-off in stocks, there are tens if not hundreds of stocks that are undervalued from a traditional investment perspective. But the markets right now are acting anything but traditional. It's actually a complete upside down situation. Stocks like airlines and REITs are no longer in favor and dozens and dozens of brick and mortar retailers are going out of business. Speculative tech stocks are selling at a premium while respected blue chips are lagging behind. Typically, tech stocks are more speculative than blue chip stocks, but with the stay-at-home economy, tech stocks have become the new blue chip stocks, while top blue chip stocks are lagging behind, at least till the economy stabilizes and the COVID-19 is no longer the major issue on the horizon. In my opinion, and my opinion for now, the best value right now is looking for pullbacks in stocks that are leading once again. Don't go bottom fishing. It's not a good time right now. Those that are not necessarily selling at the cheapest price or value, but my opinion of value is picking stocks that have the highest odds of recovering from the pandemic and coming unscathed and ready to move onwards and forward once again. And that's why, that's why I wanna offer you two stocks that I'm watching closely and those that I believe that you should too. The first stock on the horizon is GoDaddy, ticker symbol GDDY, the leader in online domain name purchases. GoDaddy is engaged in designing, developing cloud-based technology products for small businesses, web design professionals, and individuals. The company's products include domains, hosting, and web presence. There are several reasons why I'm partial to GoDaddy right now. First of all, the stock is fully recovered from the February meltdown and now appears to be pulling back to the 50-day moving average, which is an ideal entry level. Fundamentally, the company has been growing steadily each year. It has a 23% return on equity in 2019 and $685 million in free cash flow. That's a lot of moolah. The, the market cap on this stock is $13 billion. Just think about it, $13 billion from selling domain names. Crazy. And the P ratio is only at 17. Most stocks in this category are showing a P ratio of 150 to 200, which tells me the stock has substantially more upside ahead. The five-year return on price is close to 150%, and the five-year earnings growth is 173%. GoDaddy has eight strong buy recommendations, and I'm not expecting the company to fold anytime soon. Matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised to see the price double in the next few years. Look for a good low-term, uh, short-term entry near the $70 price level. That's near the 50-day moving average, all right? The second pullback value that I'm seeing right now is in microchip technology, ticker symbol, MCHP. The stock is not only recovering from the pandemic, but it's near all-time highs, and it's finally starting to pull back to that magic 200-day moving average. The company develops and sells semiconductors for different applications. The company specializes in memory and flash DRAM products. The stock has been doing well fundamentally. Five-year revenue is near 145%, and five-year earnings growth is over 100% as well. Now, one of the reasons why I like this stock, aside from completely bouncing back from the pandemic, is the current value compared to its competitors. Check this out. ADI, analog device, is selling at 28P ratio. Maxim is selling at 27. On semiconductors, 50 Microchip is selling at only 19 PE ratio. While P alone is not enough to get me to get my attention, the stock showed a positive earnings surprise of five dollars and seventy three cents per share in the last quarter, which tells me that momentum should be moving back into this company. The company had four quarters of positive earnings estimates, revised higher, and shares are showing eleven strong buy recommendations. That's huge. Out of all the chip stocks, I'm currently favoring MCHP. I'm currently looking for a low risk entry price near uh, the 50 to 200 day cross. That's near the 88 to $90 price level. Now, based on my upside projections, MCHP could hit $150 per share before reaching full value or moving back in line with other stocks in that sector. 
The only other semiconductor stock that I really like right now is Micron and AMD, but honestly, their PE ratio is not as good and uh, M MCHP is showing better relative strength. Hope that helps. Folks, I want you to listen and listen good. When it comes to growing your account, timing your trades, well, is everything. And that's why I wanna offer you the opportunity to get in on some of Wall Street's biggest moves. After years of planning and thousands of back tests, my team and I discovered a predictive tell that could tip you off to upcoming Wall Street plays. In other words, I'm finally taking on the bloated, greedy financial institutions and you stand to profit massively, but, I can only bring a few folks along with me. So click on the link below to get these traits before it's too late. Do it now.